How's it going everybody? This is Techno Blast on Technos Gaming. And in my recent video on how to set up RetroArch on your Xbox, there was a point where you have to download some uh, game ROMs or game files from a site and they come compressed in a weird format that you probably won't recognize. Now many people do recognize the format of zip files, but there's also some other ones that you'll see in, in, one, in this one in particular is called the 7Z file, which you'll see here on this game here that I downloaded, it's, it, it ends with an extension of 7Z, which simply means 7-zip. And what that 7-zip mean it is, it's also a compressor, just like a zip, you know, when, uh, zip that you guys are, every, everybody's um, familiar with. Just another compression uh, tool that to make big files into smaller files. Now, people are asking, what do I need to unzip this or uncompress it? What you need is this following application. It's called the 7 zip. And depending on your computer, if it's a 64 bit or a 32 bit, you got to download the appropriate one so it can work correctly. For me, it was the 64 bit form, uh, version, and that's what I use to uncompress any files. Now, the application itself looks like this nothing fancy, nothing crazy and, and mind blowing. But it, it mainly works in the background and I'll show you how to unzip a file. Now let's go back to my file here of the Star Wars game. It ends with a 7Z and like I said, this is a compressed file. It's not the actual ISO file that you require for your RetroArch a game system. At first, after you uninstalled a 7-Zip, you're going to go ahead and come back to your file and right click it. And you're going to have this option here called 7-Zip. And what you're going to select from here is just simply extract here. And now you're going to have this little progress bar where it's just showing you that, hey, it's unzipping. It's it's doing the un, the extract and it's going to finish in a few seconds. At this point, the uncompress or the extract of the file is complete and you could just simply go ahead and close this window out. And if you go back to your folder here, you're going to see there's two files now instead of one. The first one is your 7Z file that needed to be uncompressed or extracted. And now you have your second file here that that is your ISO file. As you can see here on the file type, it is a disk image file, which is what you need for your RetroArch game system. And if you go to your properties, you're going to notice that this is the ISO file that I keep talking about what you need for your RetroArch game system. So if you're kind of confused on how to extract those files, this is the way to do it. It's much, it's very easy. It's not that hard. The application itself does not take that much resource at all. You can uninstall it if you want to right afterwards, but this is how you extract the ISO files or any game files that that's in a 7Z format. All right, guys, this is Technoblast on Technos Gaming. Hey, if you appreciate the video, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and a super thanks button. And uh, make your comment down below if you're, you know, what you think about this video or if you have any suggestions about any RetroArch uh, topics that you like me you to know, go over. I'll try to go over it for you. All right, guys, this is Techno Blast. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.